Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the rules for rounding off decimals when multiplying and dividing. Now, the one thing to think about, though, when multiplying and dividing, the rules for rounding off decimals actually don't really, aren't really related to the multiplying and dividing part, because usually at the beginning of a problem, they would tell you what decimal place to round off the decimals to. So multiplying and dividing are actually irrelevant when it comes to the directions. It's just a question of seeing what decimal place do they want you to divide by, and that's when you use the regular decimal rounding rules and going forward. So for example, if you're asked to round your answer to the nearest tenth, that means you're rounding to the nearest one decimal place. So for example, if you have 0 0.14, you're rounding to the nearest tenth, you use the regular decimal rounding rules and going from there. You look at the next decimal place and see if it's five or more, you round up, and if it's below five, you round down. So in this case, this rounds off to 0 0.1. Now, if you have hundredths, then you're rounding to two decimal places. So if you have 0 0.025, for example, you, you look at the next decimal place, which is the five, and then since that's five or more, this becomes 0 0.03. So when it comes to multiplying and dividing, yes, you will create more decimal places as you go along, but really you want to look at the beginning of the directions and see what decimal places do they want you to round off to, and then you use the regular rounding rules and go from there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to round off decimals when it comes to multiplying and dividing.